here in i button and description box below you will get complete playlist of laplace transform uh, and <clears throat> here we are going to solve a problem which is from the topic inverse laplace transform basically uh, i would uh, like to show you something that is from video number 19 okay from video number 19 to video number yes that is 30 we are solving various problems on the topic inverse laplace transform all these questions are very 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 important i would i would suggest you i would request you to solve each and every problem okay and that too in this sequence only in this sequence only so that you will get very good uh, command over this topic okay and over this all these questions out of all these questions this question number 27 is most important problem okay other questions are also very important but this is the most important problem okay so let us start with the problem Welcome to video number 29 and this this video we are going to solve 11 problem on the topic that is inverse Laplace transform. This is one of the uh, very good questions and in previous video also we have uh, solved this type of question that is log form type questions we have solved. Uh, <clears throat> okay let us start with this problem. The question says evaluate or solve inverse Laplace transform of log s square plus 1 upon s into s plus 1. Okay, here yeah, we are going to solve this part. Okay, that is inverse Laplace transform of this. That is, this is what? This is my f bar of s. So, let f bar of s equals to log of s square plus 1 upon s into s plus 1. Okay, this is log a upon b. That is log s square plus 1 minus this log s minus this log s plus 1. Okay, we can break this log s square plus 1 upon s into s plus 1 as log s square plus 1 minus log s minus log s plus 1. Okay, yes. Now, in the previous video also we have discussed whenever you see log form we need to apply derivative property. Okay, derivative property of inverse Laplace transform. But before applying derivative property we need to differentiate. Okay, so differentiating with respect to s on both the sides. Okay differentiating with respect to s we will get this part will become d upon ds of f bar of s this part will become yes differentiation of this that is log s square plus 1 with respect to s will become 1 upon s square plus 1 and this s square will become 2s similarly yes minus log s will become minus 1 upon s okay minus uh, differentiation of log s with respect to s will become 1 upon s Similarly, minus differentiation of s log s plus 1 with respect to s will become minus of s minus of 1 upon s plus 1. Okay, yes. This will become 2s upon s square plus 1 and rest will be as it is. That is 1 upon s with negative sign and minus 1 upon s plus 1. Okay, I hope up to this step you won't find any difficulty. Fine. Okay, now we are going to take inverse Laplace transform on both the sides. Okay, so this will become inverse Laplace transform of d upon ds of f bar of s. Yes, this will become, yes, since 2 is a constant, so taking 2 outside, inverse Laplace transform of s upon s square plus 1. This will become minus of inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s. And this will become minus of inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s plus 1. Okay, now since we have derivative okay here so we are going to use the derivative property of inverse laplace transform okay properties of inverse laplace transform and look at this fourth property that is derivative property and according to this inverse laplace transform of d upon ds of f bar of s is what minus 10 to f of t i repeat this once again inverse laplace transform of d upon ds of f bar of s and that is equals to minus 10 to f of t this is what this is my derivative property in the case of inverse laplace transform so Yes, applying this, that is inverse Laplace transform of d upon ds of f bar of s. This can be written as what? Minus 10 to f of t. Now coming to this, 2 is a constant value. So writing this as it is, inverse Laplace transform of s upon s square plus 1. This is this will be, yes. If you see formula of inverse Laplace transform, this number 4 formula, that is inverse Laplace transform of s upon s square plus a square equals to what? Cos 80. Okay, inverse Laplace transform of s upon s square plus a square and the value is cos 18. And if you see here the value of a is how much? 1. Okay, so inverse Laplace transform of s upon s square plus 1 square is equals to what? Cos t. Okay, now coming to this negative sign will be as it is. Inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s. This is one of the most easiest formula 
okay inverse laplace transform one upon one upon yeah inverse laplace transform one upon s that is equals to one so this will be one okay now coming to this last formula that is minus of inverse laplace transform of one upon s plus one okay the formula is inverse laplace transform of one upon s minus a is what e to the power 80 and the value of a is how much minus one here so this will become e to the power minus minus t now since we have minus in the left hand side so we'll take to the right hand side so that this will become positive this will become positive and this will become negative okay yes again since we have t here taking this to the right hand side oh, sorry huh, right hand side so we'll get f of t yes this is my last answer the final answer that is f of t equals to 1 plus e to the power minus t minus 2 into cos t upon t okay i repeat this once again f of t equals to 1 plus e to the power minus t minus cos 2 t upon t and this is my final answer okay thank you so much for watching this video